Good afternoon, everybody. It's the Cockney Colonel here. Getting ready for next Tuesday's auction. We're a little bit ahead of curveball this week. So doing good, doing good. Still got some work going on. Rob is still unpacking right next to me, so we'll let him get on with that. So this auction is going to be on Tuesday the 20th of October. One o'clock preview for the box lot bananas are down in the barn when we're going to get rid of all the box lot stuff. Two o'clock start. And then the main auction, which is what we're going to zoom around right now, will be a four o'clock preview with a five o'clock start. All right, so we've got these really cool old sort of advertising and what used to be outside, you know, for the soldiers, for the recruitment. You know, the little uh, fold up sort of guys there. All right, so they are really neat. And then let's have a little run down here and see what we can find. All right, so we've got some really cool kind of stuff this week as usual. Quite a variety of different things. Some of the glassware as always, a nice turkey platter. I know the turkey platters are always going to be popular. Some nice little compote there, you know, the old orange and red glass, they're pretty cool. All right, a little bit of the Asian. Plates, I think we've got some more coming in. I know you guys are going to be really excited because you never can wait to buy all the plates. So, a uh, lot more plates over there. Happy days. I know you can't wait. So, I see you're all so excited already. We've got some really cool old papers. I've got to put some pictures um, on the internet there as always. We've got a few hundred pictures up, so make sure you have a look at those. All right, but um, some old sort of the day Kennedy was assassinated and some other things going on. So be sure to look at the pictures and the descriptions there. All right, some old board games, sort of vintage board games, checkers and chess and perception and something else going on over there. So that's pretty cool. Some magazines of the modern model railroader. All right, and some Winnie the Pooh hairbands or something. I can't wear one. I can't remember why, but I can't wear one. Anyway, some more old sort of stuff there, glittery stuff. Now we've got some cool collector decanters. I don't know that there's anything in them, but they're like just really cool, sort of Jim Bean and stuff like that of these decanters. All right, so they're probably going to be popular as well. They're quite collectible. All right, so again, I've got pictures on the line. So make sure you have a look at all of these decanters. All right, they really are cool, the collector decanters there. All right, so they're really neat. Got an old Smith Corona typewriter. Just what you need. Who needs email when you can use snail mail? That's the best way to go. Some old baseball gloves there, or softball, whatever they are. Don't really know the difference. One's for boys and one's for girls. Oh no, because you old boys play softball, don't you? So it's all for boys. It's all for boys, honest. All right, then you've got a Miami Heat clock. That's going on there. Some old cameras in there. All right, there's a couple of vintage tools in that one by the looks of it. Dolls, dolls, dolls. Load of more dolls coming later. Yeah, these are quite neat. Snake protectors, apparently, right? So you put it over your legs so that if the snake goes to strike you, it don't go through, right? So they're like really old vintage snake leggings or something like that. So they're really pretty neat. Bit of unusual wall art. All right, so that looks quite cool. Oh, more glassware. All right, yeah, lovely. Can't wait. Going to make me a millionaire one day, all this glassware. I'm sure of it. Couple of unusual pieces from our uh, lovely Roger. He likes to bring these little bits and pieces in that he makes up himself. All right, so if you're into skull and scary looking things or got a kid or a grandkid that likes that kind of stuff, here it is, happy days. Couple of belt buckles, some old guns going on there and a Batman one there, all right, so that looks kind of cool. Superman outfit, I might have to have a little go on that one myself, not sure I'll fit into it, but I do love Superman, loved that when I was a kid, love Superman. A little uh, bit of costume jewelry or something going on in there, some old skeleton thing with some scary head on it, all right, some hubcaps, don't know what brand of car that is, but I'm sure you do, all right. We've got a load of these prints, all right, so there's rings and rings of these prints in this packaging, all right, which I'm sure will be good for resellers, and there's a load more in this box here, all right. We've got um, a bread maker, bread machine, ice cream maker apparently, the old bo uh, wooden buckets and ice cream uh, Ice cream maker, not like the one that Gracie thought was an ice cream maker last week or whenever it was, it was actually a commode, and she thought it was an ice cream maker. Hmm. We've got, uh, got to train that girl up a little bit more, that tells me that, oh, I know that. Anyway, a uh, little lock thing there, goes on the door, you know, punch the old numbers in it. They were crazy money, it's like 150 or so dollars or something, that thing was. A little carousel, Christmas carousel thing going on there, so that's going to be cool. All right. And a little bit of chintz there for the house, a little bit of milk glass. All right, a couple of windmills, look like Delft Blue or something like that. A uh, bit of the old pink depression glass and the old mugs. All right, everybody loves a Toby, don't they? Pretty looking women and Jesus, they always used to put on them. All right, so that's kind of cool. Bit of Mikasa, I think that one's the Mikasa, that one there. Um, unusual kind of pottery stuff going on there with the old uh, cookie jar, sugar jar and stuff like that. All right, some nice bits of silver plate, an old vintage um, Amerton Beach. That's an old vintage one, that one, so that's kind of cool. 
All right, now a little bit of home decor and chintzy stuff like that. I'll turn around in a minute because we've got some more of the home decor stuff that's kind of cool that's consigned to brought in. Nice set of flatware there, and that's always going to be popular. All right, and yeah, some more of the uh, home decor. Let me just switch around very quickly. All right, a nice little uh, chalkboard there for the wall, nice little elephant picture. Some really unusual masks. I've got those, uh, again, I've got pictures going online of those ones. All right, and some really cool sort of home decor bits just for decorating the kitchen or around the, uh, the house like that. Some really cool bamboo there in a big old vase. All right, so that's like some sort of wicker vase with the bamboo pieces in it. So we have a couple of nice sort of flamboyant lamps. I think there's another one up there that matches that one. Um, so it's a really cool kind of, you know, in the leopard over there. So he's kind of cool, a nice big sort of juggy vasey thing there. Yeah, he looks marvellous. Um, some old sort of prints there, and uh, we've got some geezers. You've got Kiss, um, you've got some geezer from uh, Kevin Nash or something like that. He must have been a wrestler or something. Looks a bit mean. Ouija board, if you like, see playing with the old uh, Ouija. It's not for me, I can't be doing none of that. Some geezer called Stone Cold Steve Austin or something like that. So there's another geezer there. I'm sure he'd be popular. Never heard of him. All right, so a bit of a uh, Halloween. Look at this Mona Lisa. She comes, right? All right, she's got a tongue sticking out. And if we turn around, she goes back to normal Mona Lisa. So she looks pretty cool as well, doesn't she? All right, there you go. Stung ticking out again. Tongue sticking out even. All right, some birds. Everybody loves birds, don't they? Why go outside looking in the trees when you can just put them on a mantelpiece and they're there all the time? Here, look at that. Casino crown. Good old uh, fruit machine thing. Fruit machine. Love fruit machines. one arm bandit, as you call them. Right, lovely jubbly. A little bit of Christmas, Santa Claus, Father Christmas. He looks, he looks happy, doesn't he? All right, a little one, a little uh, set there as well. That's cool, a couple of the old Dickens collectibles. Really cool um, little dispensary, water dispensary for jug thing there, the old one, that's one cool. That's one of us. Yeah, some yarn, everybody loves yarn, don't they? Not yarn, it's yarn. All right, so a few tubs of the old yarn, which I know is always gonna be popular. So make sure you come and get your yarn, all right? Got a little grandchild. Here you go, look, tiny little bike. All right, so it's either gonna be a small grandchild or a small missus. So Poppy, you know, it's probably a bit big for her, that bike, you know, but she might grow into it one day if she ever grow, decides to grow up. We've got some really unusual, apparently, um, baseball, pro basketball star cards in there, right? Um, most people are unopened, basically. We just opened up one of them just to have a look and see what was in there. So basketball cards in there, they're meant to be quite unusual, so they're pretty cool. All right, some uh, own decor, chintz, glassware, all right, usual stuff. All right, uh, spodes and spode cups and saucers in there. All right, a couple of the old angels, home decor, little fishy boy. Uh, a couple of the old eggs, they'll be uh, quite popular, I'm sure. All right, we're gonna buzz around here in a minute. Rob is still unpacking, as I say. So just a few more bits and pieces, just to show you. This is really gonna be all in the main auction, which will start four o'clock preview. WWF geezers there, look, and a bird out the back there. Well, she looks quite scary, doesn't she? Some muscly bird back there. Oh, little lily put lane, ours is. One of them apparently has got $200 on it and the other one got $125 on it. Could you imagine? I bet you I can't even get 125 pennies now for it. But we'll try. More dolls. These things, right, I swear to God, they jumped out of the box earlier. They were chasing me round. I let it down to the barn so I just wanted to get away from them. And then when I got down to the barn, there was a load more dolls down there. So I, I couldn't get away from them wherever I went. Robbie just set this out. Nice little bit of pink glass going on here. All right, so he's just done his little uh, set up there with the pink glass. All right, let's buzz around here. All right, for the furniture. We're going to be doing the furniture at two o'clock. All right, so furniture at two o'clock. We've got a wing back chair there. We've got a navy blue lazy boy recliner. All right, we've got that nice entertainment center. All right, so that's got to go this week. Um, Romanesque, we called it. Romanesque. All right, you've got a coffee table, two end tables, and like this matching dining set. All right, and they really went to town, like whenever they did this one, it's probably from the 80s or something like that, I betcha. I bet it was, I bet it's a bit newer, but you know, it looks like it, doesn't it? Because they like put fabric over their legs and stuff. All right, you know, they just covered it all. All right, and I saw like Greek or Italian or something like that, just cover the whole thing in fabric. All right, so we're calling it Romanesque. Romanesque dining table with matching kind of, you know, end table to the coffee table. All right, so nice hutch there. All right, nice good size hutch, that one with the display things inside. Nice little set of uh, chest of drawers there. Um, little entertainment centre, put the TV on top, DVR or whatever underneath there, that'll be cool. Alright, kind of cool looking, oversized, stuffed oversized pink chair going on. Alright, uh, massive piece of artwork, so that's going to be cool. I think that lamp behind that, behind there, matches what's down at the other end. So I think that lamp matches what's down at the other end. We've got um, a couple of pieces of um, sort of you know, nicely decorated sort of bookshelf things there. Alright, so I'm sure they're going to be popular as well. So we're going to have, to have some luggage as well that's going to be going out of here. All right, so that's going to be going out in the main auction as well. We do have a queen-size bed with a headboard. 
All right, so queen size bed with a headboard as well. That's got to go out on Tuesday. Uh, so we're here every Tuesday. One o'clock preview down at the barn. All right, two o'clock start for the main bo box lot bonanza. All right, so all the stuff that I've run around here and shown you is going to be basically in the main auction, which is a four o'clock preview and a five o'clock start. You know where we are. We're down on State Road 44, close to the junction of 301. All right, so it's going to be October. Tuesday, October the first, uh, 20th even. One o'clock preview, two o'clock start for the box lot bonanza. All right, so the guys that came last week had great fun. All the stuff, the barn is full up again. All right, so we're gonna be blitzing out the barn with all the stuff that we got down there. As I said, we're gonna be doing the furniture right at the start as well at two o'clock. All right, and then we're gonna run down the barn where we have got tons of more stuff for the old box lots. So bring your trailers to fill it up again. All right, it's gonna be great fun. So it's Tuesday. Oh, look at this parrot, I forgot about him. Look at that little chap, he's sitting on the old thing there. All right, he's really cool, he's really neat. I know he's gonna be popular. All right, so Tuesday, October the 20th, one o'clock preview, two o'clock start for the box lock bonanza down in the barn, all right? Four o'clock preview, five o'clock start for the main auction up here, all right? I've left all your chairs out, so come park your bums again. All right, you can come and sit down. Before I forget, there's a load of comics up here. All right, so let me just have a quick butchers at the comics because I forgot all about the comics because I took them out of the box earlier and I was taking pictures of them. All right, so there's these uh, unusual kind of comics. All right, loads of these comics. We're going to have to lot them up, obviously, a little bit. All right, but there are a load of comics as well going in. All right, most of those in uh, sleeves and everything, so be sure to uh, come and check those out. All right, but Tuesday, October the 20th, come along, bring your money, spend it.